Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over how you test for sulphate ions. So this is a test for sulphate ions. In here I have some magnesium sulphate. I'm going to add in sequentially hydrochloric acid and barium chloride. Trying to get the amounts equal. There's a hydrochloric acid, nothing has happened. We should see something happen when you add in the barium chloride. And now we can see our white precipitate, which indicates the presence of sulfate ions. Magnesium sulfate and barium chloride will react together in a displacement reaction. So we will get magnesium chloride and barium sulfate. Hydrochloric acid can be removed, used to remove any ions which may contaminate the results. Our barium sulfate is going to be solid and this is going to be, give us a white precipitate which we are going to see as cloudy, giving us a positive test for the result. Magnesium sulfate is a soluble sulfate whereas barium sulfate is an insoluble sulfate, which means we can see this result. Most sulfate compounds are soluble in water, except barium sulfate. The ionic equation that you need to know for this is barium 2 plus and sulfate 2 minus will go together to make barium sulfate. Now for some of these reactions you're going to be doing more than one test. It is important that you do these tests in the right order, otherwise you're going to contaminate your results. Either barium chloride or barium nitrite can be used to provide the barium ions if a test for halides is also required. Then you are going to need to use barium nitrate. If you use barium chloride, you are introducing halide ions, which will give you a false positive. If you also need to test for carbonate ions, then you should do that first. Since barium carbonate also gives a white solid as a result. 